I have been a member of the MRS um, since I was a graduate student. This is back in the early 1980s. And in fact, um, I went on to be a um, graduate student award winner. And then I've organized symposia. I organized a meeting and then I was on the board and eventually the MRS president. So, um, so my entire scientific career really has really evolved around this, city, around, um, this, this, um, this organization. What's exciting about the MRS is that um, it, uh, I think most of us would agree, it provides um, an incredibly great forum for materials researchers with backgrounds from biology and physical sciences to engineering to actually meet and to talk about advances in material science and engineering and the overall societal impact. So, so in that sense, uh, I can't think of a better organization to be, to be a part of and to spend my time. So the, the mission of MRS Communications is the publication of uh, impactful papers of interest to general materials audience. And uh, so for people publishing um, high impact papers, um, they like to see uh, things in print soon after it's accepted. And so we've made a promise to authors that within 14 days of acceptance of a manuscript it would appear, uh, it, it would be published. And we've managed to meet that goal. In some cases it's been as fast as nine days. And so this, so this is very important, particularly for, um, for, for ideas and that are actually co quite compelling. So the research letter is uh, very much like the research letters published by many of the peer journals. Um, they tend to be um, sort of brief, succinct, uh, compelling uh, articles about the discovery, and it's typically about four, four pages. The prospective article, on the other hand, is a unique feature of MRS communications. They're, they're, they tend to be authoritative, forward-looking reviews, and they could deal with a controversial idea, or could deal with a, with a very current, compelling topic. So, for example, um, the latest issue of MRS Communications has um, three perspective articles. Uh, there's one um, on uh, electrochemical storage, where it actually talks about new materials um, research pathways. There's another one on quantum computing and quantum sensing, and it's a joint collaboration uh, between um, industry and academia. And uh, yet there's, there's a third one um, looking at um, on, on, uh, PV materials, uh, earth abundant PV materials. And so these are current topics of interest to a lot of people, both academically as well as people working in industry. And so, they, so I think people can look at this latest AC to get some, some really insight into, so into really new, uh, exciting directions in these areas. So first off, um, the reviewing is quite rigorous. And so the papers that are actually published, uh, many authors agree that in fact um, they found the referees to be quite helpful. So, um, so the quality is high. The second thing is that um, there's an open access option that people can choose. And in fact, if you're an MRS member, the, there is a discount in the open access option. But most importantly, um, all papers in MRS communications are readily available to any MRS member who would choose to look at it. So I think between the quality of the papers the, uh, the, the, this, the, the rapid pace at which the, the, um, the papers are published after acceptance and indeed um, accessibility are great reasons um, for publishing MRS communications. Mm -hmm.